two Razo, can you take down Razo? Yeah, I mean, as long as you've got three, it, you're stuck. As long as you've got a stock, you've got your got a chance in this game. Right? He just has to out neutral Razo over and Constantly. over because if he gets grabbed like that, that's gonna hurt. Here comes the damage, 31% onto Lord Bahamut. Okay, yeah, Razo is just kind of pressuring Bahamut right now. He's not forcing any big openings right now, and even with that going on, he still managed to attack on almost 90%. Oh, that was such a good turn, but an even better up B right there for Bahamut, yeah, turning nice. around so he's able to grab Peach on her way back. I mean, and an up B like that off stage is, is so big for Ganon because he needs all the percent he can get yeah. in this matchup. And Bahamut just facing these snares right now. Uh, me just hoping Razo will go into them, get something aggressive, but Razo is, is like I said, playing, playing a more patient game with Peach. I dumped it. Oh. If that forward smash connected, he got the stop. Like, he was definitely dead. You're but too slow. Speaking of definitely dead, there's Razo getting the forward air. Yeah, like, huge hitbox from forward smash on Ganon, but it does come out pretty slow. And yeah, here come the Twitter combos. All no, right. he goes off stage. Good for him, honestly, to go off stage, even if he's still getting edge guard. He, Razo needs stage to work with. He's out of stage. And so he's not going to get comboed anymore, at least. Unfortunately, he is going to get edge guard. Kind of the same thing. You know, he's still taking damage out there, but it takes a lot more reading from Razo. Well, Razo needs stage to get his combos, but Peach is also very good at edge guarding Ganon. Yeah. So it's, it's a situation where nothing is good for Ganon. It's almost like bad matchups exist. Yeah, yeah. Who <laughs> planned that? And that will be another yeah, stock right there. Turn it back guard right there. Gonna do it. Gets one in the air, one going down. So even if Bahamut's able to leave behind one, he does. Oh. <laughs> he used the win box of the up tilt to pull himself in and it start a combo off of that. Razo is on fire right now, looking for a three stock on Lord Bahamut. He goes high. Okay, this could be it. But really, Ganon does not need a lot of openings to get this going. Like. His back air, his... It's so ooh. dangerous. And the, the nair, he looks yeah, to the he, he just stayed out there. He did. He, he tried to to grab him. Yeah. Yeah, so he can I make mean, it back. I see the idea there for Bahamut, but yeah. Razo was all over that one. Nairs oh. him into the stage. Bahamut misses the tech. He says, okay, you're dead, but I'm going to try and get even more hit just because I can. He floats down there just to keep the pressure on. Yeah. Bahamut, uh, sorry, Razo just sort of walking over Lord Bahamut. Yeah, but I this is a great counter pick here, I think, for Lord Bahamut. Going to Smash though, there's way less room for Peach to weave in and out around Ganondorf. And, you know, those hits and Smash attacks that kill you at 60, they cover most of the stage. Right. You get stuck on that platform above Ganondorf, whew, there's a good chance you're losing your stock for it. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the way... Razo is playing this. Where good lord. Go? Good lord. Yeah, okay. So, Ganon's out of shield options are so slow that Peach is just able to pressure his shield just with those nares. Come out, those float cancels nares, comes about frame 7 or frame 8. Uh, Ganon's jab is frame 8, I believe, in this game. Um, so, yeah. There's not a lot Bahamut can do. I think maybe he can grab, but that might trade. Just to, again, being in shield against Peach as Ganon is not good. If if uh, Razo manages to get behind Bahamut's shield, then there's absolutely nothing Bahamut can do. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> Bahamut getting that trade, so he is still in this. So Peach's neutral air is by frame start up. Yes. So very difficult to punish on a lot of characters, especially Ganon. Well, yeah, so you you also need to account in for the, the flow cancel. So if you scroll the bottom of uh, where Peach's uh, frame data is, it'll tell you the fastest out-of-shield flow cancel options. Yeah, and meanwhile, you know, the fastest thing that Ganon can really do out-of-shield is at least 10 frames. Uh, so uh, it's going to be very difficult. I point. believe he can roll, maybe? Uh, yeah, obviously, like, but, but like aggressive options. Yeah, but you... Try and even fight Peach, because even if he rolls Peach, can, you know, cover that. Yeah, yeah. 
And what a photo. This game's actually even. Yeah, jeez. Bahamut managed to turn this around. Like I was saying, I feel like this is such a good stage here for Ganondorf. It's so difficult to weave in and out of the giant hitboxes. If he racks up a couple good hits and gets a read, you can just lose to it. Great side B, but he looks for a roll. Get up attack in a big play from Razo. Okay, not getting that last hit. hit. I believe he could have connected that to four there. Um, okay. This is the landing with the turn up. Bahama getting a grab he needs so bad, but not getting a, a punish off of it. He was just out of that window where he could get down throw it in there. Okay, side beat. That's a stitch. That's yeah. That's a stitch. Oh, okay. Great avoidance, but he gets caught. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's yeah, dead. He's he's dead. dead. He, he doesn't have his... And that's such a... That's so unfortunate for Muhammad because he was playing that super well, it felt like, and then all of a sudden he just had to respect the Stitch. He couldn't play his game anymore. Peach won the game when she pulled that, it felt like. Uh, it certainly wasn't a good position for Ganon. Yeah. Um, you know, like, again, Peach, we saw Peach's ability to pressure Ganon shield, and so waiting in shield for the Stitch or, or playing uh, defensive around that, uh, 